Hello, I am Joshua P. Warren, and this is Joshua P. Warren Daily. And I'm going to try to make this a quick one because I already had a busy month, and it just got a lot busier. Uh, I'm going to explain why. First off, this month I'm already doing traveling. I'm working on two or three projects. We have family coming into town to visit. Um, right now, the Haunted Asheville Ghost Tours in Asheville, North Carolina have reopened and are doing very well. Uh, we just have limited capacity on each of the tours, but uh, if you're in the Asheville area, you can take the tour now, but I'm doing a lot of correspondence and getting that, you know, operational and people are confused and want to know about our status. Anyway, look, there's been a lot of stuff going on and... I got this excited uh, text and video uh, a few days ago in the evening from Guy and Tiana at Fox 5 in Las Vegas, and uh, they were holding champagne and saying, guess what? They, as you may have seen, shot a, a special feature. Um, starring, well, really me and Nick Weird as we were investigating an oddity shop here in Las Vegas. And that program won an Emmy. So uh, they were really excited. And, um, <laughs> and who wouldn't be? And they're wonderful people and absolutely deserve it. Very, very talented. You know, um, Tiana is the reporter. Guy does pretty much everything else, okay? He shoots and edits and puts it all together. And wow, just congratulations to both of them. I'm just so proud of them. And, you know, I was thrilled when the piece came out. And so I can now say that I starred in an Emmy Award winning piece here in Las Vegas. And uh, so I'm really excited about that. Congratulations to Nick Weird and everybody else who was a part of that program. So um, needless to say, they said, we want to shoot some more stuff with you right away. <laughs> so, um, so right now, sort of in the midst of everything else that was planned this month, I am uh, going to be working with them on some more content shooting some stuff and if all goes the way it looks like it's going to we have access to a really cool location here in the vegas area and um we will see we will see what is produced next and if maybe we can get another emmy award-winning piece out of this thing so uh that's just really exciting and it's a testament to just how much people really are interested in this kind of thing and, and how seriously that it can be taken. Um, and when it's presented properly with the talent of people like Tiana and Guy, well, here's what you end up with. Recognition of this magnitude. So anyway, I have um, such a busy month ahead of me. I'm gonna do something that I don't ordinarily ask. You know, I usually say, if you wanna email me, uh, I read every email. I can't reply to everyone, but I read everyone. Well, I'm not going to be able to guarantee that for this month. So I'm going to ask you, as, as somebody who listens to this program, to only message me, whether it's through Facebook or Twitter or email or what. Only message me, please, if it's something really important, <laughs> okay? Because I, the other day, you know, I, I had I, something like almost 2,000 emails, and I'm just like, I can't, I don't have the time to read all these today. And so um, I'll let you know when I think I'll be back in the groove where I can start reading emails. But I, I'd rather you not email me, uh, but know that it's being read, then email me and not know and then be like well i don't know if he read it or not what did i waste my time i hope that makes sense to you and i want to assure you if you've ordered anything from us um we are on top of it doing the best we can every single day to get your order to you and um so if you have a question about an order the best thing you can do is email this address 
business at shadowboxent.com. I own a company called Shadowbox Enterprises. If you email business at shadowboxent.com, then Mobius will get that and he knows what to do from there. And he can put you in touch with Dr. Mulder because Dr. Mulder ships some things and Mobius ships some things. And also, um, of, the, of those of you who ordered the Golden Ratio Antenna Pendant, I want you to know that um, about 75 of them have gone out, but so yours may have been in that first batch, but we sold a lot more than that. And so that some are still just being produced. So as they get produced, then I'll turn around and be sending them out as quickly as they are manufactured. But you knew, you knew when you ordered it, that it was, it was not made yet. So don't be an asshole and act like that you're in some hurry to get this thing because I told you what I was going to do. I was going to take the orders and get them made and get them to you. So be cool, please. Um, and also, uh, when it comes to uh, the products, we have found that some countries now are just not accepting packages from the United States. We're having a lot of problems with uh, the UK and a lot of European countries and they're blaming it on COVID-19. Personally, I think it's mainly political bullshit that they're using this as an excuse for. Um, but if we send something to your country and your country turns it down and sends it back to us, then we'll just hang on to it until your country will let us try again. You know, that's all we can do. So please just be understanding, and I think you're the type of person who who usually will be if you order products from us, because you know that we're not Walmart, we're not some big mass corporation. Uh, we make a lot of handcrafted stuff, and uh, it's specialized stuff. We make sure to do our best with it, and uh, we do everything possible every day. We work like you wouldn't believe every day to get your order to you as quickly as possible. So thank you for your understanding. Uh, but, you know, now that I've said that, <laughs> um, there is something else that I want to, uh, to announce to you. And maybe you've heard this already. I think this is pretty amazing, especially when it comes to people out there seeking cool items. Back on August 11th of 2018, I did a podcast called My Thoughts on the treasure of Forrest Finn. And as you may recall, Forrest Finn um, is a man who is from El Paso, uh, I believe. Um, let me see here. No, I'm sorry. He is, uh, he's, he's an art dealer and author from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And about 10 years ago, he decided just for fun to hide a treasure which everybody presumed was somewhere in the Rocky Mountains, a treasure chest that was worth over a million dollars. And basically what we're talking about here is a box that's described as being bronze estimated to have been forged in the 12th century. The chest features a bronze construction with a wood liner and locking front clasp. According to Finn, weighs about 22 pounds. Um, dimensions are about 10 by 10 by 5 inches. The chest features scenes and reliefs with knights scaling walls on ladders and maidens above throwing flowers down upon them. And the chest is full of rubies and diamonds and gold and emeralds and sapphires and ancient relics. Just, I mean, what a prize. And then he put out a poem primarily that gave hints as to where this could be located. So over the years, uh, over the past 10 years, thousands of people have gone looking for this treasure and it, he just announced days ago, somebody finally found it. And this whole thing has been controversial because so far they say five people have died looking for the treasure. And um, you know, you're talking about people who pretty much 
have accidents, you know, as they're going out seeking this thing. And it got to the point where even the authorities were asking him to call it off, saying that uh, it's not only is it inspiring people to go into dangerous, risky places, but it's also inspiring some bad behavior, like people getting out there and digging holes where they shouldn't be digging them and, uh, you know, doing the typical metal detector type of thing and, and destroying some property. So, nonetheless, he has announced that his treasure has been found. Some people say the treasure could be worth up to $2 million. Uh, here is a part of the story from the CPR News, CPR.org, about this. It says, Santa Fe millionaire Forrest Finn shocked the world on June 6 when he announced someone found the treasure he hid worth up to $2 million in the Rocky Mountains. Quote, so the search is over, wrote Finn on a popular blog called The Thrill of the Chase. And then he wrote, quote, look for more information and photos in the coming days, end quote. And what's frustrating about this, however, is that he claims that right now he has verified that the treasure was found. He was sent pictures of it and everything and a description of where it was. And so he knows it was found. But as of now, the finder wants to remain anonymous and he's not prepared to tell where it was. So we don't know much more. And of course, he's probably just toying with us uh, just to keep the mystery going a little bit longer. But uh, sure enough, the, the story, it talks about the five people who died looking for it. So at least that part is over now. But uh, it's a pretty long piece, but it doesn't really tell you much more than I've just told you. So I suggest that, you know, if, if that's of interest to you, you can just keep an eye on it. And also what I'm going to do um, is repost a link on my uh, Twitter there to the extensive detailed podcast that I did about this on August 11th of 2018 called My Thoughts on the Treasure of Forest Fence. So you can go to at Joshua P. Warren, at Joshua P. Warren there on Twitter if you want to find the link to that podcast and listen to it. And remember, just to listen to content on Twitter, you don't have to sign up for anything or download an app or any stuff like that. You just go to twitter.com and do a search for Joshua P. Warren and all of my tweets will pop up like links basically and you can click on whatever you want to and you know what there's something else that i um that i'm going to post a link to you know i've been telling you that my great friends dr Mulder and dr liz have started up their own podcast that's doing smashingly well on youtube uh it's the dr liz and Mulder show They've interviewed a lot of great people. It's a very positive, enlightening, insightful, even inspirational podcast. And uh, I have been turning down a lot, a lot of podcast invitations lately because it's just too time consuming, especially when I'm trying to do my own podcast and when I can squeeze this in. But uh, I decided that uh, I would definitely make time to go on their podcast and so I appeared on their latest edition it's actually edition uh, number 33 their 33rd show which seemed fitting because Dr. Mulder said we all know that 33 is a special number and uh, well why is that well you know you hear about the Scottish Rite of the Freemasons having their highest honorary 33rd degree or you know that Jesus was was crucified at the age of 33 and we get into this topic of why that 33 may be such a special number so that's one of the things that we talk about but we also talk about so much more uh, we get into gambling tips and attracting money tips using wishing machines and just using common sense 
you know uh, I, I give a lot of advice about that we talk about um, comms concepts of time travel and al and alternate dimensions and um, I mean it's just it's one of those things where you, you go down the rabbit hole and so I am going to um, post a link to that podcast also at my Twitter there at Joshua P. Warren and I hope that you will listen to it I know if you like this podcast you'll find it fascinating and while you're there you should subscribe uh, so you can continue listening to them and it's a great counterpart to this podcast so anyway um, I guess the last thing I want to share with you here before I have to to jump off here uh, rest assured things are looking good for getting a new date for the conference that I originally had planned in May and so what I'm hoping is that we'll get the green light from the governor and everything will go smoothly in order for us to do something in the fall of, of this year so rest assured it's going to happen probably in the fall I'm just waiting to get the the, the word that the venue is open and can handle our capacity safely without any problems and because I've already paid for the venue that's a done deal and it's also the perfect environment where I want to do this and because that it's taken a little longer to get this thing uh, <laughs> actually presented I have been thinking and I've come up with a lot of other really cool fresh things that I want to include in this conference as well. So I want to thank all of you who have bought a ticket for your patience. And once we have the new date confirmed, I'll contact all those people. And if we have any new spaces that open up, I'll let you know about that as well. So um, I guess bottom line is right now, um, thank you for your patience as I am not able to uh, read messages and correspond as quickly as usual uh, trust me we're doing everything we can to get your products to you uh, if you have any questions about that email business at shadowboxent.com business at shadowboxent.com and mobius will do his best to help you check out the links on my twitter to the dr liz and Mulder show number 33 and also um, the podcast that I did August 11th of 2018 about my thoughts on the forest fin treasure now that you know it has finally been found interesting stuff and um, a lot that you can continue exploring just sort of spinning off of this particular podcast so anyway that said remember now if you go to joshuapwarren.com, you can find all kinds of interesting, free, educational content, stuff that can help you out, whatever you're trying to accomplish in your life. I hope that you will sign up for my free e-newsletter at the site. If you have not done that, you know that I occasionally just send out $100 to people who are subscribers. Guess what? That's going to be happening very soon. Um, tell people, if you like this podcast, about it. Tell them to go to joshuapwarren.com. Check out the curiosity shop. Look around. While they're there, click the link to this podcast. It's there. There's, you'll find the link on the homepage. It's called Joshua P. Warren Daily. It's always short. It's always free. It's commercial free. It's uncensored. It's independent. And when you go there, you can subscribe through various means, different platforms, or you can just follow me on Twitter, and I hope you will, at Joshua P. Warren, at Joshua P. Warren. And I usually tweet when a new one is available. So uh, I have a lot, of, I have a whole list of great content coming up for you as soon as I can sit down and take a little more time. But bear with me. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your interest and support. Thank you for staying curious. And I will talk to you again soon.